All right, here we are. We're uh, we've boarded the uh, or we're boarding the Norwegian shuttle to St. George. Um, it is uh, it's free, so we're going to go to St. George, and the plan is to go to Crystal Caves, um, work our way around maybe Twizzle to eat, and have. Uh, or stop at Tobacco Bay or Tobacco Beach and do some snorkeling. All right, we'll check back with you. Right here at the dock, there's a wall and it looks like a hotel up on the point. Looks like at some point it was a uh, fort, but uh, beautiful morning here in Bermuda. Uh, we're on the ferry and we're headed to St. George. Yeah, we're headed uh, from the dock area to St. George. There's the Pearl. Alright, we're just pretty much cruising down the northern uh, shore of Bermuda because the dockyard and the St. George are on completely different ends of the island, so two extreme ends of the island. So, you know, back here is the dockyard, that's where our ship is is docked. We'll spend our day tomorrow going to the dockyard, but yeah, so we're steaming towards um, St. George. Yep. Looks like we're keeping it on the inside of the navigational buoys. That's a good thing. Yep, we're in the Bermuda Triangle right now, so anything could happen. They're welcome us to St. George. Hey, we're getting on the bus to Crystal Cave. Do we pay when we get out or off?
completely still, and those out there like you to do the same. And please, hold on tight to your loved ones. It ain't, it ain't oh, you know, <laughs> this ain't a roller coaster ride. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Four. Ooh. So if you put your hand right in front of your face, if you had no light, you would see that you can't even see your hand. But you gotta remember, in 1907, these boys came down with a kerosene lantern. So it's about that right. They could kind of see what was going on, but I'm pretty sure their imagination was running wild. And they never found the cricket ball. So sad. <laughs> but they say if you find the cricket ball today you get a refund. <laughs> <laughs> so keep your eyes open, everyone. So we like to use our imagination on this part of the tour as well. If you slowly follow my light into the distance, you can see the Manhattan skyline reflecting onto the water. A little bit of New York and Bermuda, right? After the Manhattan skyline reflection, we also have the mini statue of Liberty. You see her right there? She's missing her crown, maybe the raw arm as well, but hey, we try, we try. And then after the mini Statue of Liberty, we also have the snake smell. Some people say Cobra, Cobra Kai, right? And then after the snake smell, my favorite formation is the cave crocodile. The two teeth in the water, the hand, and the spine heading back. Everyone see that? Late placid, everyone. Good movie, right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put on a different set of lights so you guys can take some more pictures, get in a good mood. So if you got any questions, please throw it my way. But when I turn back on the lights, we're going to head back in that direction and we're all going to take a chance to look up into that sinkhole. And what we're going to be able to see is daylight. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look into the light. We're just going to look into it, we're not going to go into it. And then we're going to continue up to the very top. Any questions? Yeah. No. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I said it, huh? Question? No. So I'm pretty sure I said this already, but the temperature of the water is 69 to 72 Fahrenheit all year round, and in Celsius, that is 22. So everyone on the bridge, what I can get you to do is please. Crystal Cave. What a really cool uh, little excursion. It was fun. Well worth it. It was uh, $24 each. This is Tobacco Bay, the uh, second stop on our day two travels. It's uh, I'm a big snorkeler. I love to snorkel and I'm going to share some of it a little bit with you and then I'll do a second video of just the snorkeling. But it is fabulous. It's fabulous. Um, you take the ferry, the Norwegian ferry, if, uh, if you're sailing on Norwegian. And you, uh, you just we went to Crystal Cave first, which is our first stop, and then about a five minute drive back towards the ship was to Tobacco Bay. It's got uh, chairs, umbrellas, or, or coverings. It's got uh, taxis readily available. It's got drinks, food, a beautiful clean bathroom. I would, uh, if, you're, if you're coming here, they tell you snorkeling opportunities. If you love to snorkel, do yourself a favor and come here. It's, it's beautiful.
And our next stop on uh, day three is the White Horse. White Horse uh, Pub and Restaurant. And Hal and I are going in to keep us like it's right downtown St. George. So we're headed in. <laughs> Now I had to hit the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. Hey, honey, looks like a party place. Where do we go, hun? Right here? Yeah. Uh, outside dining, out. This is nice. We decided to stay inside, but a nice big outdoor dining area. All right. We'll sit down and have some. Right. Real quick, go through here. Here's your appetizers and entrees. Just to let you see the prices. They're pretty extensive, or pretty high because of everything here. Because everything's shipped in. Um, yeah. So don't be shocked by that. We'll see what we get. What are you having to drink? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure this one. I'm getting the margarita. Here they are. Right here. And they make that gasoline. Very good. Very good. Wahoo nuggets and fries. Good. So good. And we're going to do a little walk around down the square to St. George's. Yeah. Town Hall. Yep. Alexander's dining room. Beautiful location for a shop. Pretty. Local art store. 
um, you know, you support the art, local artists, come on in and get, get a treat to take back home. All right, we've made our way back to the ferry, a Norwegian ferry to head back to the, sh the ship. Free of charge ferry.